The elegant Pharaoh Hound used to be the dog of kings and today it's a national dog breed of Malta. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Pharaoh Hound. Number 1. Ancient Origin it's believed that this is one of the oldest dog breeds of all, originated in Egypt in the year 3000 before Christ. There are preserved hieroglyphs of these dogs, but the dog we know today was developed on the European island of Malta. It's believed that Phoenician traders brought them to Malta and thanks to the isolation of this island, they retain almost the same for so many centuries. Number 2. Hunter this breed was originally named Kelp Tal Fennec, which literally means dog of the rabbit. It was a reference to great hunting skills of the dog and their ability to successfully hunt rabbits and other small game. Number 3. Similar breeds the pharaoh hounds are most likely descendants of Egyptian hunting dogs called Tessan and as I already said, Phoenician traders brought them to Malta. But you can see much more similarly looking dogs around the Mediterranean region where the Phoenicians traded, for example Cherneco de Letna, Podenco Canario or Portuguese Podenco. It's believed that all these dogs have the same ancestor in Egypt and they were only brought to different locations by Phoenicians. Number 4. Blushing one of the sweetest facts about this breed is their ability to blush. When the dog is excited or happy, you can notice a bright pink or red color on its nose and ears. Number 5. On Leash it's highly recommended to have pharaoh hound on leash in unknown areas. It's because of their high prey drive and when they start the hunt, it would be almost impossible for them to obey your commands. For the same reason, they are not the greatest fit to homes with smaller pets like hamsters for example, but they do okay with other dogs. Number 6. Indoor this is an indoor dog and they really love to live the spoiled life of family companion. They want to have their own soft bed and warm place in your home. This breed can easily get cold and they do not tolerate cold temperatures very well. Their ears are thin and prone to frostbite when there is a cold outside and it's very common to see them in sweaters or other clothes. Number 7. Barking this is a sidehound and most of the sidehounds are known for being pretty quiet, but pharaoh hound does bark and it's important to train them not to do it from a young puppy if you do not like it. On the other hand, thanks to this trait they can make good watchdogs because they will alert you when something suspicious is going on around your property, but they are too fragile to make good protectors. Number 8. Ferrets this might be a little bit surprising, but best pharaoh hound hunting partner is a ferret. When the group of pharaoh hounds locate the rabbit, they will chase it until the rabbit runs away under the ground. Then the hunter will bring out the ferret with a tiny bell around its neck. The pharaoh hound can hear the bell under the ground and follow the ferret's movement. When the rabbit finally bolts for freedom, it finds itself captured by the hunter's nets. Number 9. Egyptian Description There is a well-preserved Egyptian chronicle with a description of a dog that is believed to be the original pharaoh hound. This is what the chronicle says. The red, long-tailed dog goes at night into the stalls of the hills. He makes no delay in hunting, his face glows like a god and he delights to do his work. Number 10. Health the pharaoh hound was never a victim of overbreeding and probably thanks to that they are not victims of many serious health issues. The average lifespan of this breed is between 12 to 15 years and the most common health issues are allergies and rarely hip dysplasia. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the pharaoh hound and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.